Thank you very much, April. A St. Tammany Parish Sheriff's deputy who was killed in a car crash two weeks ago will be laid to rest today. The funeral for Corporal Jonathan Panks is open to the public. And as Erica Ferrando shows us, his family will be greeted with a sign of appreciation for his service. Perfect. That's good. One by one. American flags were placed along Oak Harbor Boulevard in Slidell. Really, that shows that the community cares. By a small group of citizens. All right. It's all to show support for Corporal Jonathan Panks. To show that patriotism, to show that, that respect. 30-year-old Corporal Jonathan Panks was a 13-year veteran with the St. Tammany Parish Sheriff's Office. He was engaged to be married this November, but was killed in a head-on collision on his way home from his bachelor party. His public funeral is Friday. It's one of those things that they deserve it. You know, they deserve the honor. You know, they're our heroes. They're the, you know, they're the people that put their lives on the line for us each and every day. So Thursday night. Let's go. Zane Galber and a few friends. This is a group of people that I called up and I said, you want to do it? And I said, meet me at 630. And I had, I had people show up. Took it upon themselves to bring dozens of flags owned by one of the neighborhood associations. Probably about 170, actually. There's, there's quite a bit of them. To line the streets ahead of where Pink's friends and family will say their goodbyes. You know, when they make their way um, to the Harvest Center, they're, they're going to be touched. You know, just, just by seeing all the support. There is a sea of flags all the way to the North Shore Harbor Center where Corporal Pink's funeral is being held. All the way. One thin blue line in a sea of red, white, and blue. That's, you know, patriotism at its finest. It's a gesture. It's a beautiful sight. That is indeed patriotism at its finest. In Slidell, Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News.